This article is sponsored by YM Cinema 65, which is a one-of-a-kind handmade stainless steel model of a 65 mm motion picture film camera. It's a perfect gift for filmmakers, moviegoers, camera lovers, and cinephiles. The camera behind The Shining, Aeroflex 35BL and Steadicam techniques. The Aeroflex 35BL helped to revolutionize filmmaking. The Shining director and crazy genius Stanley Kubrick utilized this camera together with new Steadicam techniques to bring this outstanding psychological horror to the big screen. Director Stanley Kubrick is known for his meticulousness and compulsiveness on set, doing numerous takes again and again, even if they are perfect. Kubrick often worked with a small crew, which allowed him to do many takes, sometimes to the exhaustion of the actors and staff. Here's a testimony from Duval, who played Jack's wife. I resented Stanley at times because he pushed me and it hurt, and I resented him for it. I thought, why do you want to do this to me? How can you do this to me? You agonize over it, and it's just a necessary turmoil to get out of it what you want out of it. Indeed, Shelley Duvall suffered from nervous exhaustion throughout filming, including physical illness and hair loss. As for Nicholson, he would often return from a day's shooting, walk straight to the bed, collapse onto it, and immediately fall asleep. Moreover, some scenes were shot dozens of times. We shot it 50 or 60 times, then Jack would say, that was pretty good, wasn't it, Stanley? And Stanley would say, yes, it was. Now let's do it again, as described by one of the main actors. Kubrick was a camera view. Thus, he was pursuing a camera that allowed him to shoot innovatively. He found the Aeroflex 35BL, which was the first Silent 35mm camera. BL stands for Blimpit. Ari launched the 35BL in 1972, and it was a big success. The Aeroflex 35BL is one of the most important 35mm cameras ever invented. It can be defined as the first handheld 35mm film camera that Ariflex ever produced. The camera was lightweight, 25 pounds. It was easy enough for a single operator to pick up and use on his shoulder. Kubrick purchased two of those cameras from Ari, one for general setup and one for an exclusive use on a Steadicam. Kubrick has shot tons of film stock on The Shining. In 1985, BL body alone cost around $70,000. But today, you can buy one for $3,000. The Shining is the first movie in which a new technique called Steadicam was heavily implemented. The new Steadicam mount was used to shoot several scenes, giving the film an innovative and immersive look and feel. The inventor of the Steadicam, Garrett Brown, was extensively involved with the production. Brown has described his excitement taking his first tour of the sets, which offered further possibilities for the Steadicam. As mentioned, Kubrick was not just talking of stunt shots and staircases. Rather, he would use the Steadicam as it was intended to be used, as a tool which can help get the lens where it's wanted in space and time without the classic limitations of the dolly and crane. Brown used an 18mm Cook lens that allowed the Steadicam to pass within an inch of walls and door frames. Brown accomplished many of the ultra-low tracking corridor sequences from a wheelchair. Everybody who watched The Shining will never forget this movie. It's one of the best psychological horror movies ever made, if not the best of them. Enhanced by innovative filmmaking methodologies, Aeroflex 35, BL, and Steadicam, and directed ultra-meticulously, The Shining constitutes a solid reference for filmmakers and storytellers, especially in the horror segment. Unfortunately, it's a rare masterpiece. They don't do like this one anymore.